So if any of you have ever been on a film set, I'm sure you've seen directors doing this motion. And what that is, it's called a finger frame. And it's a way that they can frame up a scene. That is, it's a way they can figure out which elements of the space in front of them are going to show up on the screen and visible to the viewer without having to look through the camera's viewfinder. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because now that we're in a virtual world, everything that your audience is going to see is going to be that which is within the confines of this space, this whole frame that we're dealing with. So it's something you need to keep in mind when you're putting together your presentation uh, for buyers that you want to know how you move within that space, how you maybe show products within that space, and what's going on behind you. So for me, I have my backdrop behind me and it fills up the entire frame. But I know a lot of suppliers like to have displays of their products. They may have, you know, uh, a different signage and, and whatnot behind them. And it's important to kind of do a test run beforehand and see what shows up on their side of the camera. Because again, if it's not in the frame, it pretty much doesn't exist to the viewer. So that goes for also how you gesture. You know, you may have to make your gestures higher if you're pointing or whatever you're doing. It's got to show up within the screen. If you're going to be showing products, you need to practice how you move the products within the physical space. Are you going to hold it next to you here? Are you going to bring it up closer to the camera? All of these things are, are things you need to, to kind of be aware of. It's a situational awareness of your screen. And a good idea is to practice it, kind of, you know, do what I'm doing. I have my cell phone on a tripod, you know, do some dry test runs, see how you move within the space, see what shows, you know, arrange your background however you want so that you can get the maximum amount of things seen within your screen. So, and the only way you can do that is just by trying out different things, recording them, checking it out, maybe have your colleagues do a, a, a virtual presentation with your colleagues uh, as a test run. But, you know, try out different things and learn how to do all of your movements within this space uh, efficiently, effectively, and for the greatest impact. So, uh, let me know if this is something you've been practicing or any, any ideas or thoughts you have on how to make the most use of this space. Let me know in the comments below.